Who wants to watch me have a bitch about eBay's item specifics? Come on then, let's go. Hello, I am Uncle Wayno and I'm a full-time online retailer. Today I'm going to have a bit of a bitch about the new required item specifics on eBay. And I might show you a few tips on how to get around them. Well, you can't really get around them, but just a few tips to make it a bit easier. Now, I haven't read all the bullshit garbage emails that eBay sends you about this. Um, this is pretty much just all off the top of my head and what I've noticed. Um, so I did notice uh, a few weeks ago or whatever that they've changed the media section. Most of the stuff I sell is um, DVDs and CDs and stuff like that. So it's mostly media. Um, there are a few other categories. I'll just chuck the... Uh, Chuck them up here quickly on the screen so you can see them, but I'll mainly just focus on media today. So I mainly sell DVDs, and I did notice a few weeks ago that they've come up with this new required soon DVD title um, in the listing, which is just absurd. It is so ridiculous. The title is in the title. Why do I have to put the movie title in another section? It's fucking ridiculous. But anyway, this is what they're doing. So, and I did notice, luckily for me, I did notice a fair while ago, well, obviously if you've ever listed video games, it is required that you put the title in. So when I saw this, I started adding the title to all my DVD listings, that I, so I don't have that many that I have to update. But it is still very frustrating. And some of the other item specifics in there are just ridiculous, and if they bring them in as required, it's just going to be completely absurd. So I'll take you over to the computer now and we'll have a quick look. Alright, so we're over here um, on the eBay website. I'll just quickly show you how to change your existing listings. Um, I don't have too many. Go down to your, you're gonna wanna go down to uh, up here and your, you'll have add item specifics that will be required soon. So at least it's handy they've sort of just put that right there in front of your face for you. Um, now you can go down here. I have actually got most of my DVDs should be, um, I'm gonna go to my eBay categories. Most of my DVDs should be updated because I've been doing it for a few months now. Anyway, um, so we'll go down and add, I've got 170 out of 829 listings that I need to update. Um, I've selected me DVDs section. I've only got 34 DVDs out of, I've probably got 550 odd to 600 DVDs listed. And uh, because I've been doing it for a while now, and when I end and um, relist, um, I've been adding it in as well, um, so I've only got 34 left, so What you can do is you can just click all those if those are all the ones that you want to update um, Go edit edit selected or you could have I could have just edit all this all 34 listings um, Wait for it to load uh, my shitty computer tick all the boxes edit in bulk one at a time um, and they'll come up one by one and you do it, you just change each one and you'll go save and next. So this is <laughs> terrible DVDs, 21st Century Summit Financial Education Pack. So all I'll do is copy that. Pretty much the only required specific you'll have to put in at the moment is the title. Um, you should already have the format in. If you don't, you probably need to reevaluate what you're doing. Um, because yeah, that's probably something you really should have in there anyway. Just copy, paste it into the movie tile title and save and next and it'll just go straight to the next one five disc western collection i'm not going to put all the titles in i'm just going to put that in i mean people aren't going to be really searching this shit anyway save and next um, and you just go all the way through um I fly in the champagne it's a surfing documentary um there we go there's three i'm not going to do them all i'm not going to sit here and do them all um, so when you get to the last one, you can save and minimize, um, submit changes, confirm and submit, and it should change them all. Um, obviously I only did three out of the 34, but um, so that's a pretty simple way to change your existing listings. Um, like I said, you're only gonna really need to put your movie title in, so it could be pretty quick. If you've got like thousands of DVDs listed, I can just imagine that'd be a nightmare. But you do have until July 12th until this comes in. So my recommendation would be to just end Cell Similar. I end Cell Similar quite regularly, um, and it, it really does work to uh, help boost your sales. It's eBay thinks it's a new listing, basically, um, so you sort of get pumped up the 
pumped up the ladder a bit for putting a bunch of new listings up. Um, so yeah, I just add it in when I do the end self similar and and then that way I've sort of killed two birds with one stone. So that would be my recommendation, especially if you have a lot of them, just go through and end self similar all your old ones. And then when you get closer to July 12th, you can go through and just add the ex extra specifics in that you need to. All right, so now we'll show you if you're just starting out with the listings. Um, I'll just go through a few of the item specifics that I put in. Um, I'll create a new template. This is the, probably the easiest way to avoid half of this shit. Um, you know, if you can put as much as you can into your template, you're just not going to have to worry about it again when you're listing. So that's going to save you a ton of time. So your template name, call it whatever you want. Just call it DVD because you're going to be listing DVDs. Um, I tend to put in my end button doesn't work. Frustrating. Um, I don't usually use this computer for, for listing. So it doesn't matter that my end button doesn't work. So I'll, I'll usually go with just a stock standard genuine region 4 DVD. If you listen to DVDs, I always put genuine in. People tend to really like that. Um, there's not many fakes floating around. It's not funny. So it just sort of puts people at ease a bit. And I even still get people messaging me, asking me if it's a genuine DVD. They just don't trust shit. Um, so it's a bit annoying because what am I going to say? Yes, it is. Of course, that's what I'm going to say. So, yeah, I'll just go with that. And then, you know, when it comes to typing your title, you just type in your title and you might add some actors or whatever at the end if you need to. Um, it's it's going to suggest the category DVDs for you, pick it up straight away. Um, condition, I'll just go with stock standard. Um, uh, very good. Disc is in excellent. Can in in condition um you yeah. know i'll just go with with that as my stock standard usually and uh just change it when i need to when i'm listing each individual dvd format required soon you should always probably have this in anyway um it just makes sense um people are going to search dvd and people are going to search blu-ray so um, movie title this is the the main one that they've brought in that's required soon so you're not going to be able to do this this will give you some suggestions when you type in your title. I'll show you that in a second, because it's just stupid. Um, uh, the genre, um, I usually just go with drama as my stock standard. A lot of the stuff I sell tends to be drama. Um, you can't obviously add actors and directors into your template because they're gonna be different for each one. Rating, just absurd. There's 12,000 searches on here for rating. No one gives a shit eBay. No one gives a shit. Don't even know why it's there. Um, language, again, it's stupid. We're in Australia. 99.9% .9 of the stuff is, is going to be English. So you're just going to stick English in there and change it if you get a foreign film or whatever. Um, features, I never put any of this shit in. I don't think they can make this uh, required because some DVDs just don't have features. Um, studio, again, I don't really think they'll make that required. I mean, if it's Disney, you're going to put Disney in the title because Disney, that's just what you do because Disney sells. If it's BBC, same thing. You're going to put that in the title and if you don't, you should. Um, just ridiculous. The TV, they've changed the TV shows. It's just fucking stupid what they've done. I'll scroll back up here to the genre. It used to have a TV shows genre. Now, if you scroll down the box, there's no TV shows. Um, but there is reality TV and talk show and all this other crap. Um, so you can type it in yourself. Um, it comes up automatically because I normally type it in anyway. And you can add it yourself. Um, but just stupid. eBay. Fucking stupid. There's that many people out there that are going to browse eBay and they, they love their drama movies. They don't want to watch drama TV shows. But they love their drama movies, and not, you know, they haven't watched much good stuff lately and they just want to find a nice good drama to sit down and watch. And they go to the drama section on eBay and they're fucking bombarded with drama TV shows now. Because they're not in the TV show section because there isn't one. Just fucking stupid eBay, what are you doing? Well, hang on a minute. 
It's Uncle Wayno here from the future. Um, I've just finished filming this video and I thought I'd go and have a quick look at eBay because I did do this whole video off the cuff. I was just pissed off and I grabbed the camera and just started recording. Um, and I had a look at the search feature for DVDs. And when you go to pick which genre you want to search up, they're actually, even if you type in TV shows, it doesn't come up. I thought it still would because I thought there would be tons of them that still were there. Um, but it's just not there in the uh, section. So you probably are going to want to, if it's a drama TV show, you're going to want to put it in drama. If it's an action show, you're going to want to put it in action. I mean, like I said in the video, it's, um, it's really fucking annoying for buyers. I would find it really frustrating if I was a buyer and I didn't want any TV series and I just wanted to search through eBay's genres. Um, but as a seller, I would recommend definitely not typing in TV shows like I've just said and putting it in the correct category. Otherwise, it will just go into not specified. So instead, they've added this little type down here, type box. So if you've got a TV series, you're going to have to put that in now. I mean, if you list, this is a template. If you're going to be listing a bunch of TV shows in a row, you can always go to manage templates and edit your template. So if I I uh, got a big bundle of TV series that I was going to be um, all listing in a row. I would just quickly go and alter my template and I would just tick this box. Um, and you can click this which season it is if you want, but I really don't think that matters. Additional, this is another absurd thing eBay. Additional, buyers may also be interested in these item specifics. Region code is probably the most important item specific you're gonna i mean in australia most of the stuff you get is going to be dvd region 4 but there's blu-rays um you find you, i find plenty of region 1 dvds and region 2 dvds out pop shopping and it is really important because a lot of people in australia um can't play anything but region 4 dvds and i, I do get a, quite a few people not quite a few but every now and then i get people asking me about it because they just don't understand it. So it is really important. People are going to um, be searching for Region 4 DVDs. But eBay have chucked it all the way down the bottom here. In additional, buyers may also be interested in this item. It's the most important one, you fucking idiots. Anyway, subgenre, bullshit. Who cares? No one cares. It doesn't matter. Release year, same shit. No one cares. No one cares. What? what year of the fucking Matrix come out, they just want to buy it for three bucks. Addition, same thing as before, I don't think they can make this required. Um, it's stupid having it here anyway, if it's a deluxe edition, you're going to write it in your title, in the title of the actual listing, again, like the movie title, it's the same thing. Um, most people don't search for it anyway, most people don't care, they just want to watch the movie. Um, so I don't think they can make it required because um, not all DVDs have a special edition or a deluxe edition or a different edition. And some just stock standard DVDs. So I wouldn't worry about it. Music artists, ridiculous. <laughs> Most, they've got a whole section for music artists. Most DVDs aren't music DVDs. Simple as that. Why bother? 2.8K searches. 2.8K out of the millions and millions of DVDs that are on eBay. Case type, 106. 106 searches. Why even fucking have that there? You can see the case type in the picture. People can see the picture. That's the other thing. Most people don't even read the fucking title of the listing. They just look at the pretty picture and press buy it now. It's amazing how many... I try to keep my listings as simple as possible. I have as little written in the description as possible. Um, and I try to put as much as I can in the actual title because uh, you know most people will only look at the title and the picture that's it they won't look at anything else so it's just pointless doing all this stuff cinematic movement oh, come on give me a fucking spell country region of manufacturer manufacture we're in Australia I mean, again, this goes up to region. If it's a region 4 DVD, it's probably manufactured in Australia, I would have thought. And no one cares. No one cares. 
where it's manufactured. They just want to watch the fucking Titanic. Whatever. Subtitle, I wouldn't worry about it. You might think it's sort of important, um, but I don't. You know, most people know that most movies will have sub English subtitles if they're hearing impaired or whatever. Um, and I've never filled out the subtitle and I've never had anyone ask me, does this movie have subtitles unless it's a foreign film. If it's a foreign film, I will put the subtitles in. That's the only time. So we'll go down and we'll save this as a template. And we'll show you what happens with uh, EB's recommended, what they recommend for your item specifics. It's just absurd. Now eBay, if anyone from eBay is watching, I've got fuck all subscribers, so you're probably not. But if anyone from eBay is watching, you gotta get your ass into gear and fix this shit. We cannot update our item specifics automatically based on your suggestions if they're all flat out wrong. It is amazing how many of them are wrong. And like, I can't just click update on them all because that's it's just absurd. All my listings are going to be all over the place. So I'll give you an example here. And this this is the one that shits me the most. Any movie with the title red in it. With, not the title. With the word red in it. Any movie with the word red in it. Is going to come up as movie title red. It's absurd. And you'd be surprised how many movies have the word red in it. Um, I'll show you quickly now. Let's just say we're going to go with The Woman in Red. 80s movie I think um, the woman in red we click off here and it'll give us her suggestions movie title red it does it for any movie if you type red anywhere in your title it will give this suggestion of red just absurd absolutely absurd not only that say it's the woman in red box set I don't think that exists but let's just say it is and I want to type in Box set. You wouldn't believe what comes up. Subgenre. Boxing. Boxing. I wrote box set and they've gone with subgenre boxing. The Woman in Red is some fucking 80s comedy. It might even be a drama. I'm not even sure. I can't remember. But seriously, eBay. You get your fucking act into gear. If you really want this shit to work, you have to get your shit sort it out first. I mean, the absurdity of making us do all of these item specifics that just don't matter is costing eBay money. That's the reality reality of it. If, if we didn't have to spend all our fucking time sorting this shit out, we could be using that time to putting more listings up, um, sorting more stuff out to get more listings up cleaning more stuff all the stuff we have to do as resellers we could be doing this stuff instead of focusing on stupid item specifics um trying having to put a movie title in a separate little box when it's already in the listing title is absurd absolutely absurd it makes no sense whatsoever and all we are doing is costing us time and money and you money, eBay. So all you're going to want to do is just copy your title. You're probably going to copy it anyway to look up the value of it on eBay. See what you're going to list it for anyway. Paste it in there. You've already got um, most of your stuff that you care about filled out now. So all you have to do is change your genre. Um, TV shows, is, I said it wasn't there. It's only there because I saved it in the template. Um, so, I think the woman in red's a comedy. So, you're gonna find comedy, add that. I'm not gonna worry about um, all this other stuff that's garbage. I've already ticked the English, so that's fine. All this other stuff doesn't matter. It's not a TV series, I just saved it as a TV series. Um, in the template when I was talking about it, to read them for DVD, it's not a box set. Oh, well, it is a box set, because I'm pretending it's a box set. Um, yeah, case thought. It's just hilarious, some of this stuff. And then you're gonna, you've got, you should have your description and stuff and all your postage filled out in your template as well. So that's it. Bit frustrated. A few naughty words in this video. Sorry about that, but it's, it's hard not to when you've got to deal with eBay's stupid shit like this. Hopefully, in between my bitching and moaning, uh, I was able to help you out a little bit. 
most of you probably know all this stuff anyway, but there will be a few of you that might get a bit, bit out of it. Um, the video is all off the top of my head, I didn't plan it out or anything, so it's probably a bit all over the place now that I think about it. Uh, but hopefully you did get a little bit out of it, um, if not anything, a laugh, um, which is what I love the most. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching all the way through. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.